How to group fields nicely on pages using the simple object designer in Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, welcome to this video on a, uh, on a new feature of the simple object designer. If you haven't tried the simple object designer before, um, there are links below to uh, introduction videos and, uh, and all the, uh, the information on the product. Um, and this video might not be the best video to get a feel for what the simple object designer is, but you can check out some of the links below and, and then go back to this one, or you can try luck with this one. Um, one of the most requested features in the simple object designer is the ability to create a new section on, on, on a card page. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's the simple object designer, but if I go into the customer table, we can see that the customer table is very nice. It has a general and address and invoice, and just like these groups. And uh, up until now, with the Simple Object Designer, you have been able to add your fields to any of these groups. You have not been able to create your own new groups. And that's the thing that we can do now. So let me show you how that is done. Um, first, I need to create a couple of fields. So I go in and um, let's add them to the customer. Uh, uh, my f first field, that is a text field, and let's call it my first field. And we'll create one more, because we're on a roll. Uh, my second field, and that should probably be a decimal, how about that? So now I have those, uh, and I want to, so, so I have added them to the, database, but not on screen. So I need to place them on screen and I go into place on pages and I get a list of all the pages that you can put a field on the customer uh, on. So you can see customer card list, look up and that all makes sense. So what we could do until now is that we say, okay, let's add this as the last field in, in something like in general, but that won't really work um, because that's not what I want. So I want a new new thing here. But what we can do is that we can click on new sections now. So okay, let let me. I want this. So let's create one called my fields and nice caption my fields. And where should this? So we still need to put this somewhere. So we will put that this one at after. And let's just add it after the general section. So we'll find general, and uh, that starts with using the word G. There we go. So now our new box is sitting after general. Perfect. So we added that. So now again, I could go at last, but let me say now I want this to be the first field in the my fields group. Perfect. Close this one. And then we do the same thing with the second field. So we'll add it as the very first field in the My Fields section. Uh, so now we have two fields that are uh, as the first field. Um, but there's an order here. So this one will come before this one. Um, so I'm, I'm done. So what I can do now is I can hit publish and I say yes, that I want to publish to this environment. What is happening now is that the simple object designer is writing the code, just as if you were to um, uh, ask me to write the code. So it starts by writing the code for adding those two fields to the customer table. Then it writes the code for adding the group on the customer card. And finally, it writes the code for adding those two fields to the group. And um, when it's done writing all the fields, it compiles all the code into an app file. Uh, and when that is done, that that's, that was the, the thing that just flashed by here while I was chatting. Um, so now it takes, because I answered yes to deploy to this environment, it sends the app file up to Microsoft and they verify that it's a good app. And they, as soon as they have done that, then the app goes to the, the deployment service that will deploy the app into your environment. And uh, I think we are almost done with that. Uh, so all my talking uh, is lining up with this thing, hopefully being done in a couple of seconds with deploying my app. 
there we go deployment completed successfully so now we can go back to the customer card and take a look at the result and we can see now we have my fields my my field field did i really type my field i i think i was supposed to type my first field but uh, hey and my second field so we have the two fields but let's let's fix those captions so they look nice instead of my rapid typing here and i think i need this field before that one so i need the auto switch around which is also a new feature in in this version of the simple object designer so let's go back and and take a look at our two fields here um so clearly i made a mistake here and but that's okay because you don't have to be perfect the first time you got you got options you can improve your app uh, all the time and this one clearly i also forgot to add in some spaces and make this look nice so like that but i really want the second field to be before the first field so we can see here that this one was added as the first field of my fields with a placement index of zero and the second field was also added as the first field with a placement index of zero. So if we want this field to show up before the other one, this one needs to have a lower placement index than the other one. So we could, we could solve this by typing minus one in here. So this one comes before, or we could have solved it by putting a, a, a two in here or something like that. So, so it would be after the zero. Um, but we we changed the order now and I changed the captions so I hit publish again so what is happening now is the exact same process as before code is written and then code is is also getting first validated with Microsoft and deployed but here the process is slightly different on the Microsoft side of things. Because what's happening now is that we already have version one of our app installed. So now what we, we have made some changes. So what the simple object designer will do is that this new version is tagged as version two. Uh, so now we tell Microsoft, here's version two. You already have version one installed. So what Microsoft will do is that it will first verify that version one can be upgraded to version two, that there are no breaking changes between version one and version two. In this case, we've changed some captions and we changed the order of how fields should be uh, displayed on screen. None of those are breaking. If I deleted one of the fields, that would be a breaking change because you might have data in that field already in version one. So we cannot just deploy version two with breaking changes. We'll have to tell the simple object designer that hey this it's okay to deploy with breaking changes and there's a setting for that to do that but after microsoft has verified that this app is upgradable from version one to version two it goes through the the deployment process again and this time it will deploy version two then it will run whatever upgrade uh, functionality is needed like if there's a new field in it we have two fields in the first one and three fields in the next one we need still need to change the database uh, so there's a process for that and at some point it's done and you upgrade it now you're running version two so we can click ok to that and we can go back to the customer and check um, to see that now the fields have switched places and the captions are now correct. So, because now we are running version two of our app. And if I go back here at the very end and I look at its extensions management, uh, I can find a group field demo here. We first we did version one and then we did version two and that's the one that's installed. So, that is how you group uh, fields with the latest version of, uh, of Business Central. If you don't know how, at least latest version of the Simple Object Designer, that is. If you don't know how to upgrade your Simple Object Designer to the latest version, there is a link to a video below on, on how to upgrade it. And um, 
after the, after you have upgraded, this is available for you to use. Um, and thank you for watching and enjoy Customize Business Central without writing a single line of code.